The Northwestern Railway's main line from Tidmouth to Vickerstown climbs sharply in some places. The most notorious gradient is that of the Marin Incline. The Marin Incline, also infamously known as Gordon's Hill, is a severe gradient of 1 out of 75 that was built over a hill of solid bedrock by the railway during its construction in 1915. It got its name from a certain incident that happened back in 1922, when the railway's number 4, an ex-Great Northern Railway A1 Pacific, stalled on the hill with a heavy goods, and was so helped by the railway's veteran locomotive, an ex-Furnace Railway Class K2, which can be seen here pulling a stopping passenger inbound from Sudbury. The engine is the line's number two that was completed in 1896 as the Furnace Railway's number 35. It came to the NWR in 1915 to assist during construction, and is still at work as of 1958 when we came to film the railway. Meanwhile, the railway's main goods engine is drawing into Wellsworth Station with the long goods. Number 3 is an Stanier Black 5 locomotive built at the London Midland and Scottish Railways works at Crewe in 1935. Once a notoriously poor steamer, Sir William Stanier rebuilt the engine from the ground up and is now one of the most reliable locomotives on the NWR roster. But it seems that number 3 will have some trouble bringing its train up the hill, so number 2 will have to be the banker locomotive and help push the train from behind. Once everything is ready, Number 3 will give a special signal with its whistle which will tell Number 2 to help start pushing the train. What a magnificent sight these engines are pushing such a long goods train up the hill. Gordon's Hill itself is the steepest grade in the Furnace area. It's only rivaled by that of the Lickby Incline at Kings Norton in the western region, which in itself is 1 in 37 for a distance of nearly 2 miles, but Gordon's Hill is over 5 miles long. Now that number 3 is well over the hill going down towards Marrow, number 2 is now heading back down to Wellsworth Station to continue its passenger train. It will then go head back up the branch line separating from the main at the foot of the hill, going back to Sudbury and the harbour town of Brendam. We will venture down the Brendam branch later in our program, but we shall first continue east towards Peel Gordred and see what lies there. But only of course, if the viewers wish to see more.